What's going on, you guys? It's Candace from Swipes and Giggles here to give you the 411 on online dating and a little bit more. Happy New Year's, everybody. I know that I said at the end of my live video that I did last time that I was going to do a, um, you know, happy holidays, happy new year kind of video. Well, it got a little shady and it got a little crazy and I just feel like I don't need that in my life. I'm trying to be a better person, not a new person, just trying to recognize the flaws that I do know I have and try to correct them as much as I possibly can without becoming a whole nother person, if that makes sense. Before I move on in this video, it's my first video of the new year. Please hit that subscribe button. Please comment, please share to your friends and tell them, hey girl, what's up? You need to watch Candace, that's what it is. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified of all the videos that I upload. As you can hear, <coughs> I have a brand new audio device, okay? You guys, it might sound a little crunchy for a little bit, but welcome, Blue. He's so gorgeous. Um, and I just got him and I'm so excited. Um, so he's not the only new, th well, I needed to get a microphone. I didn't need to. I think the quality of, um, the audio quality that I give was pretty okay, but I definitely needed to. With new microphones come new backgrounds. I finally got a stand and now I can go get actual fabric instead of, you know, Dollar Tree, um, shower curtains and have a different background. Look at us stepping it up for 2019, hunty. You feel what I'm saying? You just gotta do bigger and better things. If you're not doing better things, what are you doing? What is you saying? I wanna make this short and sweet because this is kind of a serious topic um, and I don't wanna get too indulged in it and then my personal opinion comes through and not giving, um, I guess, thoughts and consideration to other people's views on life and their beliefs. For the first video of the new year, I wanted to speak about um, a topic that's very important to me and that means a lot to me. So therefore, I wanted to talk about religion or your spirituality, whatever. Um, and granted, I know you guys probably want like a fun, uplifting video and everything, but I think this being my first video, I want to kind of coincide it with this should be your first thoughts and questions on a person that you are interested in or dating or whatever when you're looking on their um, Tinder, OkCupid, POF, whatever profile you're looking on to see if that matters to you or not. I'm a spiritual person. Um, and with that, that means I have a very, very... Um, close connection to God on the level that I am right now. It definitely could be a whole lot stronger, um, but for what I feel and what I am with him, this is just what feels good to me right now. Obviously, I want to build on that and make it better, um, but that will come in time. Um, but for right now, I have a beautiful and great connection with God in my own way. Saying that I'm a perfect person or a perfect Christian, therefore I need a perfect man to come in my life. What I'm saying is, if there's not a connection of God with you, then there's not a connection with me. Like once again, that's my viewpoint, okay? Now there are some people that I would be like, okay, I get it. Like, you know, those who say, you know, there is something, but I just can't grasp it. That's okay, because that means you still know there's something there, but you just haven't learned or felt that personal connection, or you might have not, you know, had that personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. And that's fine, because that means in time it will come if you're looking and if you're searching, or even if you're not looking and searching, it probably will. First thing I used to look at on guys' profiles was um, if they had went to college or not. That was my first thing I used to do. And now as I've gotten older, my thing is to see what their spiritual level is. I'm not the man on the orange line in Boston getting you to save your life before the end of all days. I think that people really need to start getting back into asking what people believe in and what they are and what, um, 
they hope their children to be especially if you're doing online dating dating in general whatever the case may be at some point in time you're going to get married unless you're one of those people who are not going to get married whatsoever then that might not matter to you or um having children might not matter to you but even if you're going to be in a long-term relationship you need to know you know what this person is um, believes in what they're like and you know what's your future with them so sometimes it takes a second just to ask that person you know or to talk about it really quick because if you're not on that same level or that same page there's gonna be a really big disconnect you know you can love a person I mean to your bone marrow okay and if they don't have the same faith as you, they don't believe in the same thing as you, or they have the same thought process or the same morals, whatever the case may be, you will see how quickly it will ruin the relationship once you find this out. The point is make sure that you know the person that you're getting into it with, you know, um, make sure that you ask the person um, you know, what do you think about this kind of situation? Get them ethical questions, you know, try to take in the ethics class, get a book from, you know, a college site, whatever. So really get to know someone. And if they show you their true selves, believe them the first time and get out. Just don't stay, leave, be gone, deuce, deuce. Basically all I wanted to come and say, I know this wasn't the shortest thing in the world, but please drop your comments down below. Please let me know what some of the most important things that are to you when you're dating um, and that you're looking for on a person's profile. Please let me know down below. Thank you guys once again for joining me for a new episode of 2019 for Sipes and Giggles. Thank you guys so much. I truly do appreciate it. I'm sorry I've been ghosted for this past month, basically. I have had some deaths in the family. Um, I am embarking on a new journey in my career. There's just a lot of stuff that has been going on. So I'm so sorry that I abandoned you guys, but I'm back in full effect with new equipment and new stuff and I'm so happy to use it. And yeah, and also make sure you guys um, follow me on Anchor. I have brought back a podcast I used to do in college and I am doing it now and it's called The Vault. So you can find me on Anchor and I'm soon to be on Spotify and other different listening devices. So yeah, follow me on there. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. I truly do appreciate it. And until next time, it was nice swiping with you.